A Clarkston man is nearly beaten to death inside his own home. But Russell Erickson survived and is now thanking everybody who helped save his life, including DeKalb County Police canine Indy, who tracked down the suspect. Yeah, at the time of that beating, Erickson was unconscious and was unable to talk with detectives. But today, Christy Hutchings with News Radio 1067 was there as Russell met the canine and his handler for the first time. You saved my life that night. Thank you. Oh, we there's a lot of people that helped. I night. know. It's a reunion Russell Erickson waited weeks for. He's been recovering at the hospital after someone beat him inside his home. He punched me relentlessly in my face and cut my eye. My eyes were swollen shut, and I have a brain injury as well. He broke the post off of my four post bed and he beat me with them. And then when I got outside, he continued to beat me. A neighbor heard Russell's cries and called police. Thank God the lady across the street, after a while, she opened the window because she had hot flashes. And that's the best thing in the world. Ladies who have hot flashes is wonderful because she opened that window and I uh, heard me yelling. Paramedics rushed Russell to the hospital while police were left to try to figure out who did this. With Russell unconscious, they didn't have much information. That's when they called in to Cab County police officer Norman Larson and his canine Indy. But by now, close to two hours had passed and Larson didn't know how much help they could be. Andy picked up a track right away and uh, immediately my thoughts changed. Okay, the guy could still be out here. He tracked behind buildings into this community behind here, this townhome community, and found a bloody shirt next to a privacy fence. And Indy led everyone straight to the suspect. Now Russell wants to give back. He started a GoFundMe page, and he plans on buying Indy's food for the next year. Whatever kind of dog food you like, you get the best. A gesture Officer Larson hasn't seen before. This is the first time, and uh, I'm very appreciative for that. In Clarkston, Christy Hutchings, News Radio 1067 for Fox 5 News.